Hi guys, welcome to another episode of CUDA Education. Um, I just wanted to add one more video to the storage image going to swap chain image discussion uh, as, as part of, this is the second video in that discussion. So I posted a question about, about this same topic, about why an intermediate, intermediate step of, of, of writing to the s storage image is is important as opposed to writing directly to the swap chain image in a Vulcan ray tracing ray tracing scene. So I, I posted a question of that on the um, Vulcan Reddit, uh, you know, site uh, group, and I got a lot of uh, good commentary. So I will link that post and the discussion, the comments below. You really should look at the comments below because a lot of people. Uh, submitted valuable information about this specific question of of why why um, you know a storage image is used as an intermediate step um, instead of writing directly to the the swap chain image. Um, I think it's just best that you visit it. I will I will provide the link below so you could go and see. Uh, basically, it has to do a lot with you know kind of what I highlighted in the previous video. Um, but it, it, it definitely gets into more details. Um, so I wanted to, to, um, just kind of highlight that. Um, there was also another quick thing that I wanted to, you know, show you. So. Um, right. So here, this is, this is the part of the, um, the link where we take, we take what's, what's in the storage image and we push it to the storage image and we push it to the swap chain image. So, you know, obviously when we do, when we just do, you know, when everything is lined up, you know, we get our regular. I'm building at the moment, just give me a second. So when we do our regular, um, you know, when everything is lined up between source and destination, we get we get our regular uh, triangle, right? No, no problems there. Um, but then when you do an offset, so let's say 30, 30, 30. Um, so just, just to kind of orient ourselves and to, to actually see that, that what, what, what we think is happening is actually happening. We're, we're not offsetting, um, what's in the storage image. Um, and when we run it, so zero, 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 everything was in sync, right? When you do an offset, you could see that, um, you know, the, the, the image has been, you know, it's not in sync fully, right? So that, that we kind of expect that. So let's do, maybe do 130, right? 130, 130, right? So this is just, I mean, I, I do this, it's a very simple thing. It's not, not nothing world changing, um, but it, it does, it does, it does, you know, we, we could actually, you know, give us, it gives us some context. So you could see that the, you know, there's actually, there's actually a copy that's happening. Um, Right, so you could see now that, you know, things are, you know, because, because between the storage and the, and the uh, storage image and the swap chain image, things are, uh, you know, out of sync. So you could also do it on the destination side. So, you know, you could do, So 
so you you know now we're offsetting on the um, on the swap chain image side and you could see that you know you, you could see that it's 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 moved the whole the whole uh, orientation or the you know um yeah I, I don't i'd rather you guys visit the link below and um and and dive into exactly what was said um you know their all operating system con considerations um yeah it, it, you know a lot of it is um Another important uh, important thing that um, was highlighted in in the comments as to why a storage image was used for for a basic example um, dealing with Vulcan is that um, you're not sure what device people who you know this 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 script is 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 available to the public and you're not sure what device this um, People are running the script on yes yes we know it's windows um you know but it, it, it could be any kind of windows computer right um you know i don't know necessarily you know i guess i guess you could use this script on on linux too or something um but you know it's generally open to the public and and the author of the script doesn't necessarily know what what uh the the final device or presentation device that the script is going to run on so it, you know yeah for for a beginner sample um obviously you you want the script to run successfully on on any kind of uh any kind of machine or as wide number of machines as possible so um a storage image is 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 a good way to kind of protect yourself from the restrictions of swap chain image because you know as 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 you've probably had happen to you you know you you try to learn something new in 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 programming in computer science and then you know you do everything that you can to follow the instructions to get it running and of course for your particular situation on your machine with your setup it doesn't run right and you know maybe the reason is that the script is was designed for a, a specific kind of setup and your setup is not that specific kind of setup so it doesn't run and then you're frustrated and then you know you go off into the sunset mad because this simple script that you you're trying to run to to get to learn um this technology or whatever doesn't work right so uh you know look into look into the comments uh you know there's also gpu consideration so you know you can't always guarantee that the, you know people are running on an rtx nvidia um gpu uh furthermore other vendors are in, are, are are introducing gpu so you know in recent times intel has started to create gpus uh, amd has gpus right and i'm sure maybe there are other gpus out there um, obviously I think Apple has their own proprietary GPU, um, or situation. So that is also a consideration. So, um, I kind of, I kind of have more respect for why the storage image is used now, as opposed to writing directly to the swap chain. Um, and, and also as, as a general rule to, um, you know, whenever you're creating an application, whenever you're, you're, or, 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 or you're offering something to the public. Uh, you kind of want to write the application in a way that it is accommodating to um, or takes into account uh, as many different um, contexts as possible, right? It makes your code more robust. It makes it more user-friendly. It, it, uh, it takes out a lot of risk and variables and stuff. So in, in any application that you build, you want to build it in a way that it is mindful of the fact that the, the context that you assume or the or your developer context, you know, the, the 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 context that you're creating the code in, you know, your specific setup as the as the author of the script, you you know, you 
you take into account, you do a lot of if statements, a lot of, um, you know, testing to see what capabilities are available. Um, and you try to, to gracefully handle other situations. Um, and, and actually, I, I, I have to be fair, uh, Sasha Willems, in, in, a lot of his, um, in a lot of his scripts, he, he does have, um, you know, you, you know he, he does check for a lot of capabilities before actually um, executing the capability. So he checks to make sure that this and this and this and this is available. And if it is, then you do this. If it's not available, then you do this instead. You know what I mean? So um, it's it's just good good housekeeping practice, good programming practice. It's 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 the mark of a professional programmer. Um, and yeah, you're just trying to mini minimize being the amount of times that that your your application or script is blindsided by things that are unexpected. So. Yeah, and a, and a perfect example of that is Intel is now creating GPUs, right? So, and that wasn't the case um, a couple of years ago. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, that's it for this video. Um, I will I will move on to other topics, and then I'll maybe revisit this topic. I'll table it for now, um, and I'll I'll. I'll re revisit this topic at a later date, but I think we have kind of, I think we've kind of, uh, you, you know, we've kind of learned something about storage image. And again, guys, please just take, take the time to, to look at that, um, Reddit post and look at the comments below because, uh, you know, people spent a lot of time to, to write out this stuff and it, it is, uh, it is valuable information valuable specific information that you're not necessarily going to get anywhere else or it, you're not easily going to find it on online so uh there you have it if you want to join in on the fun uh tutorial number one and tutorial number 13 has all this information on how to uh install the vulcan sdk on your machine and then also install these examples on your machine now you want to make sure it's a windows based machine with a vulcan capable gpu if you want to run the ray tracing examples these guys here you have to make sure that it's a ray tracing capable gpus uh, a gpu that you have uh in, in in the nvidia case it's the rtx gpus uh you want to make sure it's an rtx or above or greater um, not sure about the AMD stuff, not sure about the Intel stuff. You'll have to do that research on your own. Um, but yeah, I, I, it's a, it's videos that I walk you step by step, um, on how to, to get everything set up, how to get the Vulkan installed, how to get, um, the, the visual studio set up. So you could, you could actually build a solution and do all the stuff, all the different softwares that you need. Um, all the different settings that you need to change so that you can get it running on your machine. Uh, tutorial number one and tutorial number 13. I have links to them down below. Um, you know, get your friends together. You guys work on this as a group, as a crew. You bounce ideas off, you know, you all can tinker, tinker with the code and build something special. Learn as you go. For all you gamers out there, I'm sure, I'm sure you will enjoy this takes a little bit of work but you just do a little bit of work every day and you will be well on your way all right guys that's about it uh thank you for watching bye